Welcome back everybody. Today we're going over this cosmetic bag in um, quality control style and we'll also be using this tape measure to measure out certain um, uh, sizes of the panels so that it can be recreated in basic shape into a computer. So that's what we'll be doing today. And I also have this soft wood pointer that we'll be using to find uh, any inconsistencies to make note of. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. The overall front panel fabric is smooth. Only slight wrinkling. Doesn't seem to be a small scratch or indentation there and here, but nothing seems to be. A couple of scuff marks, nothing serious. Let's take a look at the back, larger panel. Some scratches here and here, but nothing that isn't ultimately camouflaged by the texture itself, you would not be able to notice that there were scratches here or here or a little bit of uh, miscoloring. Maybe that might be dirt up here or some kind of makeup, but um, that's a different problem for another department. Let's go ahead and look at the bottom panel. small indentation across the center where there's these wrinkles but that could be also by design slightly for some give. Perhaps we'll be able to tell more when we get into the inside and see if there's a, a thick lining here on the in inner parts. Um, seams are well hidden. Greens, gold, shine through. Not a lot of scratches on the bottom. It's a very light wear, even on the edges here. There's no fraying of the fabric, or I mean, of the um, threads. Now, what is this? This side looks old. Looks like this stitching color is green, which is nice and blends in well. This material gives it a good hard edge, which makes this whole bag keep its shape very, very well. You can see the soft corner that had an indentation here. The soft corner that had this indentation still pops back into its natural shape here on the corner. Let's see if this one does the same. Mostly yes, it does. A little bit of a crease here. Let's check the seams across the top. way. We'll do the inner ones on the way back. Nothing coming out. No fray. Fraying the seams. Absolutely. Oh, basically flawless so far for how old this bag is. Just got a little bit more to check on here. Almost looks like a snake that comes across. Just neat. Okay, let's head back that way and check the seat. 
seams that connect. The zipper fabric to that snake. the same green but uh, very tight, nice and even stitching a little bit of dust corners aren't worn or dirty Connecting to the snake first, and then we'll move to the snake connecting to the zipper on the way back through. Start here. What I'm listening for is any kinds of different snags. That hit the wood when I go quickly like this so, because the other side was flawless, and I'm not expecting this side to have much flaw, so I'm just listening carefully. Now let's go to the other side and start um, checking on this area here, going across from connecting the snake to the zipper fabric. Make sure there's not any uh, dirt or anything on these panels. We'll go through them really quickly from an angle. Any spots that may look like wear or dirt, I will check. Scratch. There's a wrinkle. scratch slash wrinkle that comes across wrinkle wrinkle scratch wrinkle large group of wrinkles here and here coming on this side, but no discoloration. Here's a little bit of that. Looks like a makeup sponge. Now let's check this side again. Oh, yes, the logo says K-E-S-T-R-E-L. And it's inflated on a gold um, 
of the gold is a little bit scratched, it looks like, but it's okay. Wrinkle. There's a long wrinkle going across here, which isn't a big deal. But be the biggest one, and this side is pretty much clear. Check the bottom really quickly, and then we'll move into the zipper, and we'll open this up. Uh, start measuring. Close the zipper first, check between the teeth of the zipper. Once again, I'm listening for anything that I hear that is um, something I'm not used to hearing. That goes off pattern with. a little bit of a flap. I must have just moved it wrong. Okay. So it has a little bit um, makeup y inside. This was used as a um, bag for um, oil based type face paints and body paints, so it might be gross inside. Let's take some measurements to put in. because it goes, it goes into the computer easier. Okay. Bottom panel, 25 centimeters. Bottom panel, 7 centimeters. Front panel, bottom, flat side, 25 centimeters. Front panel, total, nineteen centimeters. Front panel total from center to logo. 
16 centimeters. Logo length, three and a half centimeters. By half a centimeter. Zipper insignia reads K E S T R E L and K E S T R E L. Pendant. Oops, wrong side. Pendant is three centimeters. Smaller length of pendant is two. Two and a half centimeters before there is a protrusion that jets out with a horseshoe shape connector onto the mouth of the zipper that connects to the teeth. Zipper type unknown. Check inside the zipper. Just do a quick check on the fabric width across going down. Front panel, bottom length to zipper, 32 centimeters. Circumference. Zipper. Fifty three centimeters. Okay, let's open it up and check inside. have fabric in the inner. There is a plastic based fabric inner liner. Slightly dusty. Inner pocket. Pretty deep. No insignia on gold insert, um, zipper. And it has a flap on the left and the right side, triangular in shape. Actually, a, yeah, it's, it's a tapered or a rectangle, honestly, that comes. Uh, let me get my pointer tool. So it looks like a triangle from the outside, but from the inside you will see it does require a little bit more space that does um, have some expansion and retraction space here in the center. So keep that in mind. We'll be measuring that after we're done looking. The other They're similar stitches are clean, tight, no frame. Let's check the inner seams quickly. Back panel. 
panel inner seam. Besides being dirty, so what's this snag? No snag. see the green color of the stitching now. Suits both the inside and the outside. Okay. Perfect. Seems on the inside they're a little dirty. We've got these measurements from the inside ones. These will be the same. We'll just be mirroring them for the inner. Textures if the purse will be opened. Fabric has a couple of scuffs. Easily clean because of the fabric. The almost like a plastic canvas. Let's take a look at the pocket side. Here we have a made in China. Um, tag, nothing on the outside. Zipper. No visual sewn in sections here. So we can expect a deep liner inside, I believe, which I've already sort of checked. All of these seams and tight. Super teeth seem good. Let's pull this across. Really deep. Let's stick it inside out to look at that. Now we that we have this out, we can measure how large the inside pocket can be. Reading. Use the measuring tool again and get these uh, inner measurements ready. Let's start with this since it's sticking out and easy. So, inner. 
inner pocket bottom seam length. Fourteen centimeters. centimeters. Zipper, upper inner zipper seam length, 15 centimeters. Height of one and three quarter centimeters. Zipper to standard size teeth. Zipper pull pendant. Approximately two centimeters. Um, this one does have a protrusion through it and a horseshoe linkage there. Let's just see if we can get a quick reading of the measurement from here down, across. And up, and then we'll go from here down, across, and up. So, centimeters begin. I guess I'd start at the inner seam. Looser fabric. But it looks like it's right around 43 centimeters. So I would give it 45 centimeters. Um, if we use a polygon that is a fabric that can uh, collapse and have a more realistic look. And the last measurement will be across. And real quick, I'm just going to get just this. Side panels inside the zipper six and one half centimeters. Inside width from inside panel right to inside panel left. Length generous thirty seven centimeters. numbers into the computer and the robots will make a 3D version of this um, bag for me on the computer so that when the singularity comes I will be able to use this bag.
for my makeup if I want to, depending on how it works at that point, but I really like this bag. But I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I also have a Patreon that I feel awkward mentioning a lot, so I did not do. Thanks for watching.